Okay. Now I have a really bad headache, so it's a good time to make a video. All right, so there's new um, keyboard shortcuts, uh, which might not be immediately intuitive. Um, so I'll try to explain what's going on here. All right, so we already had these shortcuts for shifting the blocks like this, uh, which previously was um, G and H, but I've changed the defaults to uh, J and K. So J is, is the blocks to the left, K is the blocks to the right. And now you can also uh, hold down control uh, to affect just the, the blocks on the hovered track. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, I'm going to edit myself in here. Um, anytime that I say control in this video, on Mac OS I mean command. Um, and some of the keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to mention, there is no Mac OS equivalent because uh, I could just couldn't think of one. Um, because it like some cases where you like, lay up, hold down control or an of key or something, then it's some kind of operating system command. So I couldn't figure out what the correct like what the correct keys should be. Um, but if you go into here on Mac OS and um, some of the keys will be unassigned if you just search for anything that says unassigned here. Um, like some of, I think it's, it's uh, some of these ones uh, will be unassigned or is it uh, maybe some of these ones are unassigned. I can't remember uh, on Mac OS. So you can just figure out your own keys. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's just an update to um, something old. So that's not very interesting. Okay, so now to the onto the interesting stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is an idea from a YouTuber. Hold on, let me just uh, give credit here to Oscillop. Is it Oscill? a lot with one L. This guy made a video about Blockhead um, where he basically requested some features and the feature sort of as he described it didn't really work but I figured out how to make it work with all of the the various corner cases. Um, so let's say you have some kind of like some kind of repeating pattern or drum beat or something like that. Um, so you can you can select some uh, something like this and just say control D and if you have stuff to the right of it on, on the workspace so you have some garbage over there. Uh, if you press control D it'll, it'll just dump a copy of that selection immediately to the right and it will shift over, if there's anything on the right, uh, like infinitely to the right for the rest of the workspace, it will just nudge everything over to the right by that amount uh, to make room for the new stuff. Um, if you have something hovering over the edge though, like this, um, you'll notice if you select and then press Control D, um, it won't copy correctly, it will have this little gap where it's hanging over. Um, because it's just copying from, when it calculates the size of this, this area that it's copying, it's copying from the left edge of the leftmost block to the right edge of the rightmost block. So you can end up with a little gap. But if you, um, if you hover over a block, and press control D, then it will use that block that you're hovering over as like a reference for the timing. So uh, that's how you can do what you actually want there. So if, if you do that, for example, you can hover over any block, like you could like, hover over this block here, for example, and see what happens. So the rule is basically um, you select the blocks that you want to copy. If you're not hovering over any block, then when it calculates the time, it will go from the left edge of the leftmost block to the right edge of the rightmost block. 
if you are hovering over a block, then the only blocks that will be involved in the copy are the blocks whose left edges lie within this range. Um, so if, for example, this is hanging off to the left, if this one is hanging off to the left a little bit, that actually won't be involved in the copy operation. If you're hovering over a block, you see it misses that block because the left edge is not inside. Um, so that is a set of rules that I came up with. Uh, that is the only set of rules that I could come up with that actually handles all of the various corner cases, and there's a lot of them um, in as elegant a way as I could possibly possibly figure out. Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's Control D. Uh, if you press Control Shift D, um, that will create clones of all of these blocks instead. So you see these these blocks are connected because it created clones instead. Um, if you press Control Alt D, it will copy to the left, and Control Shift Alt D, it will create clones to the left. Uh, so there you go. Um, I'm going to create two clones of this block. So I have three uh, instances of the same block here. Um, and let's just create a completely different kind of block, like an effect, for example, just just to visually distinguish and create two clones of of that block as well. So I have three instances of this block and three instances of this block. Um, if you hover over a block and press C, it will say block remembered. If you hover over a different block and press V, uh, what that's doing is it's creating a copy of this block and uh, replacing this block instance with it. So you see there's now only two instances within this like clone group here because it was this one was replaced with a copy of this. Um, if instead you press Control V, um, then it's going to create a clone of this. So this is basically it's being replaced with a clone of the remembered block. By the way, you can you can delete this if you want, and uh, it's still it's still remembered. It'll just be remembered. It's in memory. It'll be remembered forever up until you copy some other block. Um, I'm using this what this awkward word remembered instead of copy, even even though this is basically like a copy and paste mechanic, right? But I'm saying remembered because the word copy already has like a very specific meaning within blockhead. So it just for, I think it would be misleading to say copy. Um, so I'm just saying block remembered. Uh, so paste does that. Um, Control V uh, is does a clone instead. So this is now part of this group. Um, all right, so control, no, so alt V, inst copy, or oh, remember, um, so hover, press C, then alt V instead ends up with this situation. So instead of replacing this block instance, I'm actually replacing the underlying block with a copy of this, which is why all three get affected. So alt V does that. And so what you end up with is these three blocks are in their own like clone group separate from these because a copy was created however if you press uh uh <laughs> control control alt v then what you end up with is all six blocks within the same group um because if you press control then you're creating a clone of the remembered block and you hold down alt you're affecting the block rather than the block instance of the target block. Um, so there you go. I implemented all four combinations, of all four possible ways of doing it. Um, possibly just one of them actually makes sense to you. So you can just, if you just type in remember here and you can, you can choose the one that actually makes sense and maybe uh, assign it to a hotkey that you actually like. Um, all right, I think that's everything.